High-end homes around Metro Detroit continue to be targeted by what local authorities call Chilean gangs. So far, Oakland County has arrested two of these crews, but others are continuing to work Metro Detroit. The two most recent homes were hit in Clinton Township. Law enforcement around the Metro are sharing information, and that story tops the news here at 10. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Scillian. Tonight, the Oakland County Sheriff, along with the Bloomfield Township and Bloomfield Hills Police Departments, held a town hall at Christ Church Cranbrook, and that's where Mar McDonald is live now. Mar, there's some practical information that was given to everyone tonight. Devin, absolutely. They gave some really good tips in here. We're going to go through them all, but this is for everybody. Stop posting those vacation pictures on Facebook when you're there. Wait till you come home. And number two is basic situational awareness. You know what's usual for your neighborhood. You know the cars that are normally there. If something seems out of place, call the sheriff. Been home for about an hour, everything seemed normal, turned my alarm off and everything. Went upstairs to find my bedroom had been broken into, breached, and completely ransacked. That's the target, according to law enforcement, jewelry, cash, and high-end handbags. These crews are organized, do surveillance, and carry jamming devices. Intelligence reports tells us just the Chilean teams are 100 or more, and typically a team is somewhere between three and six people. So that's a lot of people that are just traveling this country, hammering high-end neighborhoods. Bouchard says they enter through the visa waiver program in Michigan. Well, it's certainly not the only target. Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, um, West Virginia, and to bring you know, this awareness too, because a lot of the times we're seeing that the same crews are hitting those areas as well. Tonight at Christchurch Cranbrook, the sheriff and Bloomfield Township and Bloomfield Hills had a large crowd. People had a lot of questions. Have there been any instances where the hardware has picked up an invasion in progress and the police have responded? Best advice from the professionals, do not rely on an alarm system that's wireless. You'll see the guy actually extend the jammer into the house. Have it tethered to a landline so it can't be jammed. The first place these thieves target is bedrooms. And don't assume because you have a safe, it'll stop them. It won't. Bolt it to the floor and hide it somewhere other than the bedroom. I feel like I've been tracking it, but to hear it firsthand has been really informative and to spread the word so that all of our neighbors and we can communicate with each other and look out for each other and you know, bring the community together to protect ourselves. Back here live, as far as M.O. goes, the sheriff and his fellow law enforcement executives say it is the same. If they see someone or find somebody in the home, they usually sort of, they usually sort of sk skedaddle right out of there. In addition, they're not harming anyone's dog or, or other sort of pets. We're live in Bloomfield Hills tonight at Christchurch Cranbrook. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Really important information. All right, Mara.